Hey everyone, it's Mr. Ryan. Uh, so we are going to get started with Unit 2, Lesson 21. So 2.21, it's titled Graphing Linear Inequalities. So we're all pretty good at graphing lines, right? Still going to be talking about something to do with lines, but instead of equations, we're going to be graphing these inequalities. So our less than, less than, or equal to, greater than, greater than, or equal to. And we're going to see what type of difference that makes when we're talking about an inequality versus an equation. Okay, so let's start with our warm-up here, 21.1. Well, we want to think about less than, equal to, or more than 12. Okay, so here's our expression, 2x plus 3y. 2x plus 3y. Okay, so how are we going to know whether that's bigger than less than same as 12 well we probably need to find something to plug in for x and for y so here's what we're going to do decide if the values in each ordered pair make the value of the expression less than greater than or equal to 12 okay so we have the first one over here 0 comma 5 we know that coordinates are always written x comma y so we're going to sub this in we're going to plug it in so 2, we're going to replace x with 0 in parentheses, plus 3, we're going to replace y with 5. So order of operations, right? Let's do our multiplying first. 2 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. So we get 15. And remember our question, greater than, less than, or equal to 12. So in this case, our answer is greater than 12. We're going to use our, we'll make sure we're using our inequality symbol. So greater than 12. Okay. So then we're going to test 6 comma 0. So we're going to plug in 6 for x, 0 for y. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 0 is 0. So we get 12. So in this case, we obviously, we certainly see that that's equal to 12. We do the same thing, plug in negative 1 for both x and y. We get negative 2 plus negative 3, so that's negative 5. That's certainly less than 12. And if we do the last one, 2 times negative 5 plus 3 times 10. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 3 times 10 is 30. We get 20. So once again, that's greater than 12. So what we really want to be thinking about, guys, is that this was our original expression. So we want to be thinking that this is really saying 2x plus 3y is greater than 12. Or this is saying 2x plus 3y is less than 12 when you start subbing in these certain points. And look at this, right? Like, this is very similar back to if we saw something like this when it was an equal sign we know that this graph would be a line so that idea is going to stay the same and we're going to see what that means when we talk about linear inequalities instead of linear functions so keep that in mind there's still going to be something to do with lines and we want to think about what it means the difference between a greater than or a less than symbol when it comes to graphing linear inequalities.